Parents, the following program is intended for people over the age of 13. If your kids are younger than that, please use the YouTube Kids app. Ladies and gentlemen, from Alpha Centauri, please join our local masterings in welcoming Funny Mad Captain Thinkmo. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thanks very much. So I was hanging with my human friend the other day, you know, from Earth, and they got offended at how I was hanging out with them. So I got up to leave, of course, which offended them. And the last thing I heard was, now they're trying to get me banned from Twitter. Hello? Is this mic on? Say, just out of curiosity, have we got any human beings in the audience? Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, there goes my act. You guys have a good time here. Remember to tip your weight staff and... Good night. This show is for like 13 and above only, yo. So check your watches and see if that means you. Welcome to the Cartoon Cabaret. I'm Debbie American, international rock star and model. Hooray! And now, here's our big smelly friend, your old pal, Bigfoot. Hello, and welcome to the Cartoon Cabaret. Cabaret. Deb, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Cabaret. Cabaret. Okay, well, what do we have planned first? I'm so excited about today's show, especially about this first cartoon right here. OMG, it's a like insect from space. I'll call him them. Aww. Them, you've become so large. OMG, them, don't eat that cow. <gasps> he ate it. Don't go, them. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> In colors. Oops! I mean, not in colors. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's a new cartoon starring the late Peter Lorre. When you're supposed to be a brutal killer, you couldn't take a fly away from a baby spider. Oh, well, that's what I keep telling them down at the morgue. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you spend time at the morgue, do you? Oh, yes. It's so nice and cool and peaceful, Mr. Moore. <laughs> well, I, uh, I wouldn't know, Mr. Lorry. Oh, I if it wasn't for me, a lot of people wouldn't know about the Moore. Now, wait a minute. Quit talking. <laughs> you sound as though you're slab happy here. <laughs> Fred, why do people think I'm such a monster? I'm just a little guy trying to get along. You're not trying to get ahead, you mean, and you're not getting mine, if that's what you have in mind. <laughs> Look at me, Fred. Please look at me. Do I look like a menacing villain who knows but one word, murder? No. Well, do I look like a... like a Bengali? A demon with a hypnotic spell? No. Look deep in my eyes, Fred. Yes, Peter. Do you see anything but gentleness and love of humanity? No. <laughs> who shall I kill now, man? <laughs> So, Debbie here is in a band, and they got asked to sing a Devo song by one of the original members of Devo. Look it! This is when Jerry the Genius from Devo signed it a picture to me! See how he's so excited to meet me that he's... he's... Wait a second! Okay, this picture is, like, private, okay? A lot of things upset people these days. As I alluded to before, we're living in a time where... Everyone seems to be on edge, and they seem to have taken the ideological extremes to heart for some reason. And they're like they feel like that like fighting other people, and if anyone contradicts their point of view, they start lashing out. You know what this is, right? I mean, my theory of what this is is you know, the more powerful people in this world, you know, the rich and the elite, they're like, damn. How do we prevent the regular people from attacking us and destroying us? Because we're lording it over them, and there's really no way to justify us being elite. We're just regular people like them, but somehow 
we have more quote unquote money and more quote unquote power. How could we possibly get away with this? Like we're living in these mansions, but there's nothing special about us. Why don't these people come and like beat us up and take our mansions? Like why? How are we getting away with this? And the other elites are like, ha ha ha, I see you're new to this elite business. We get the little people to fight each other. Then they don't ever think about us. That's how we get away with it. These people, some of them think they're conservatives. Other people think they're liberals. And then they fight each other about it. They're fighting each other instead of coming attacking us. They'd be much better off attacking the elite and destroying the elite that are controlling their lives for no good reason. <laughs> but we get them to fight each other, the, the jerks. <laughs> and they always, they always fall for it. They have for generations. <laughs> what dumb dirt what dumb dip <sighs> he said a word no he didn't you bleeped it out do you think i would look good in a like no Roar! <laughs> <laughs> lol shh don't tell anyone but me and mr bigfoot puppet are like hiding here and like then like jumpering out and like spook of fine peeps yo lol Oh, shh! Here comes someone now, yo! Rawr! Oh, she didn't get scared. Wait, wait, here comes someone else. Shh! Rawr! Hmm, they weren't scared neither, yo! Okay, well, third time's the charming one. Rawr! It's not really a lie if it makes someone happy. Yay! And now it's time for the latest installment in my continuing series of interviews with giant kaiju monsterverse. <laughs> this time I traveled to Las Vegas to chat with baby Gappa from the movie Gappa the Trifibian Monsterverse. <laughs> baby G works in Vegas now as a dancer in a local review, but we don't really get into that in the interview. Why don't we cut to that right now, Smokey? I'm very excited to be here with my buddy, Baby Gappa. Hey, everyone. Before we begin, let's watch a scene of him acting in the film he's most known for. bring me to tears every time, yo! Where did you train as an actor? Oh, I spent years at the Strasbourg School where that was after making the movie. Once I learned how to act, I never got hired again. So the main question I want to ask you is this. What does trifibian mean? Is it like you swing three ways? That's a good question, actually. I'm not sure what it means. I guess it was supposed to be like amphibian means you can breathe in the water or on land, but I'm triphibian, so I guess I could breathe in the water, on land, or flying in the air? Whoa! Hmm. Land, sea, or air? Isn't breathing on the land or in the air the same thing? Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Well, maybe I can breathe in outer space then. So I don't is know. it true you were the model they based the live action Howard the Duck movie on? That is not an urban legend. That actually happened. Hmm, I see. I got paid more for Howard than I did for the Gappa movie, plus my parents spent all of that. Do go on. I thought the Duck movie was going to revive my career. But that sure didn't happen. How interesting. So, what's next for Baby Gappa? Well, from here I gotta go to the clinic because the salve they gave me hasn't done anything to get rid of my rash. And then from there I head straight to work dancing on the strip. Listen, Dip, have you got any contacts in the monster business? Oh boy, sure the like interview was over now. Monster pictures. So back Debbie? to you in the studio, Debbie, Biggity. Well, Debbie, it looks like we have just enough time for you to sing your little outro theme song. Goodbye for now, to you. 
See you next time, folks. We love ya, and we'll see ya real soon. So, I was trying on my new cosplay costume when I got hit with lightning while being bitten by a radioactive mutant caterpillar, and now I have a variety of superpowers, including the power of flight. It's pretty badass for the most part, but I have to say that some parts are a severe letdown. For instance, in the old Superman shows from TV, the black and white ones, I mean.